This is Jesse Klump, a promising Snow Hill High School senior described as a fine scholar, a gifted athlete, and a natural leader. But it was in early 2009 that Jesse tragically died by suicide. Now, although he is gone, Jesse remains the light that guides a mission to end the threat of suicide. And you have a chance to support that mission next weekend. We'd like to introduce you to Ronald Pilling. He's the corresponding secretary of the Jesse Klump Memorial Fund. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Oh, oh thanks to you two for having us this afternoon. Uh, we're talking about a fundraiser for the Jesse Klump Suicide mm -hmm. Awareness and Prevention Program. Correct. For those who aren't familiar with it, give us an overview. Uh, the Jesse after Jesse passed away, his mom, Kim, who still serves as our president, was just bound and determined that something positive come from this horrible tragedy. Uh, and now, years later, the Jesse Klump Suicide Awareness and Prevention Program is the leading nonprofit on the Lower Eastern Shore, focusing on teaching people how to recognize the risk factors and the warning signs that may lead someone to take their life and the simple steps that they can take to keep someone alive until a psychiatrist, a pastor, a social worker, a therapist can step in. Okay, okay so we're talking about something called Jesse's Paddle. What That's is Jesse's correct. Paddle? Uh, Jesse was a kayaker. Okay. So it was just natural that our logo become Jesse's Paddle. Uh, Jesse's Paddle is the annual event in support of the Suicide Prevention Program. It takes place this year on September 17th at the Pocomoke River Canoe Company, big old barn of a building mm -hmm. right at the bridge in Snow Hill. And it's the best place to kayak, no may kidding. I add. Yeah. Right Hands down. Now, it's not just the Jesse's Paddle, the kayaking. You're also having a silent auction? We have a silent auction. The, the signature event, though, of the day is Jesse's Poker Paddle. Mm -hmm. So anybody who donates 30 bucks or more uh, can get a free kayak, a free canoe, a free stand-up paddleboard to participate in the paddle. Free thanks to the canoe shop's owners. Uh, Barry Laws and Keith Donnelly have been very generous mm -hmm. for many years. We send these folks out north on the river. As you say, it's the prettiest mm -hmm. part of the river to be on. They visit five stations, and at each station they pick up a sealed envelope with uh, playing cards inside, and then they return to our poker, pa our poker paddle judges, uh, and whoever has the highest hand wins a prize. Boom. Just like a, a free paddle board, a free cut. you got to give it back, but... Oh yeah, it's, it's just, for the, poker, just okay. for the poker. Just for the poker paddle. Just for the poker paddle. So, how uh, how is the money used? How is the money raised used? Uh, we are involved in all sorts of demographics, from the elementary school to the the AARP crowd. So, for instance, in schools, we sponsor a program called Stop It in a local uh, middle school that is an anonymous bullying reporting app. Okay. Uh, the administrators at that school say that it's been very successful in, re in reducing incidents of bullying, which has been docu well documented as a major cause, one of the major causes of youth suicide. Uh, this, this year, 2022, we'll be at more than 50 tabling events, handing out information about how to recognize someone might be suicidal, what to do. And we were talking a little bit uh, before we were on camera. You are seeing more people reach out. There's indication that more people are reaching out. Yes, there is. Thanks much to the Delmarva Life Crew and people at WBOC. Uh, someone set right here where I'm sitting in July to kick off our 988 campaign. 988 is now the National Crisis Lifeline number focusing on suicide, addictive disorders, and mental health disorders. Uh, a local organization Life Crisis was in the seat next to me uh, and they report to us that crisis calls to 988 are up 15 percent versus crisis calls to the earlier prevention line a year ago. Yeah. We would love to take the credit but it's because of what you are doing and what, what this entire foundation is doing. So uh, Jesse's panel, give us the where's and the wins. Okay, Saturday September 17th. Uh, registration starts at 4 o'clock. We'll be putting boats in for Jesse's poker paddle at 430. It's at the Pocomoke River Canoe Company uh, on River Street at the Drawbridge, uh, right in Snow Hill. Uh, there'll be live music, uh, there are free hot dogs, chips, and beverages for every donor. There's probably our best silent auction ever with lots of self-care packages, everything from CBD to yoga, uh, some great decoy carvings by local carvers. Um, it's, it's a, you called it a fundraising event. We call it a fellowship and fundraising sure. event because the, the folks who come are folks who have 
uh, among, within the community who have supported us so very generously since 2009. All right. Well, it's going to be a wonderful time, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Thank you so much, Ron Pilling, for coming it's, in and talking to us about a, this important event. It's a event. privilege to be here, as always.